<laughs> it's time for the book. We're literally just doing. Really, you're just gonna call it Heart of Darkness? It feels like such a fucking. Okay, whatever. We're finally caught up with Elizabeth. We're going to. A pretty brown and grey murky level, which I guess was the style at the time. But not normally for character action games. This is more like what shooters would have looked like. Yeah. Now, if this was realistic, he would be fucking covered in leeches. <laughs> Something about the way that boat went by just made me really think, oh my god, like, that's, that's really, really not good. It's not a good. Like, the animation just looked like really like a comedy video. Oh, we gotta kill these weird buggos. Honestly, they're just kind of like the same move set as the skeleton scorpions we fought earlier, but they're uglier and they're slower on average. Better than the fucking skeleton fish, though. Let's face it. Yeah, I don't really know if I like this area because it's just the, it's just quite washed out. They could have made it a look a little more exciting, didn't they? They can't get me now. Except the splash damage is <laughs> can definitely hit me. Now. <laughs> Take that. What is with these weird shields? They don't feel like they're very South American, but like, I don't know much about tribal shield designs, so I'm just gonna shut the fuck up and not be like saying stuff I don't understand. Like, like this shield feels very like, like, you could have lifted that out of a Crash Bandicoot level and I would have just gone, yeah, okay. <laughs> Stop shooting me with your rocket launcher at point blank range. So yeah, uh, apparently over here they make their huts in a weird maze-like formation with nothing inside them just to impede your progress. Are you telling me the ninja army made these huts and just made them to be annoying? Ow. This area isn't fun. This the those weird skulls that are low poly as shit. Yay. Old. Yeah, this area is not fun because it's literally run around, avoiding rockets, trying to find out where the rockets are coming from, and they're coming from fucking everywhere, and it's just a bit like... See what I mean? Like, what the fuck is that shit? Like, I'm sure that they wanted me to, like, run around on the water like a clown. But this guy has just literally stood clipping into the corner. Look at this shit, it's just... He's shooting me through the fucking gap in the window. He's shooting me through the... 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 the fabrics. Ow. Oh great. So I have to go right back to the beginning deal with these asshole spamming rockets. You can literally see the rocket coming. Oh my god. Shoot 
you. I'm gonna try and get on your bow, I'm just gonna shoot you. Oh fuck off! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, please stop. Why is there pumping techno music? Like, I'm glad they didn't go with the ethnic bongos, but like... You know, in Russia they were playing generic heavy metal, and over here they're playing sick techno. Like dance music. It actually reminds me of the dance music from like... God. I wanna say... Triple X. Where they're in the club, but it's not the time that they're with watching Ramstein. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, I'm surprised there's not more rocket spammers, because you know, it's a water section. I'm so glad they left this obviously placed gateway so that I could see where I was supposed to swim. Ah, thank you, ancient architects. Seriously, fuck off. I remember hitting this in the vanilla version when these guys did triple the damage that they're doing now, but I also just remember it being fucking really boring and shit. It's just like, oh, you can barely see them, but they will spam rockets at you. They will make platforming a misery. You're like, why would you make it this way? Now I know the shit in other parts of these platforming areas because I've done the game before, but like, I'm not gonna go get them because let's face it, it's always just in this version of the game, you're only missing out on generic health, healing items, or points. So it's no big deal. corner of these assholes. Yeah, blow yourself up on the tree, you stupid spam bot. Now if you swing to the right, you can go on there and there's a box. Ooh, box. I don't care. <laughs> I will for sure can out a tree. Hey, have one of you guys got a rocket launcher? You know, for some variety. <laughs> I will flip kick this rock, and it will be intimidated. I will fight this awkward, awkward camera in this awkwardly shaped arena that you some for some reason chose to be the space I will fight in. So around this part of the game there is a huge fucking lull in like environments because it goes tropical jungle, tropical jungle temple, then forest, and it all starts to turn into grey, green, brown environments that you're just like, I guess. That guy died hard, he was like, ooh. <laughs> Yay, a mushroom. Mushroomy. Absorb. Ah! 
he dead? Can I leave now? Why is there a skeleton here? Anything here? No. Going to the jungle. Oh, this is shallow water. Oh, it's a worm. Wormy. No, it's like the King Kong movie with Jack Black. Except there's like kind of weird monster things here that I don't understand. Someone has to explain to me the origins of these enemies, because like why do they have chains? It looks like a like fucked up doom bargain basement doom ripoff character design. Like, Oh, I'm glad this giant penis slapped me in the face again. Ah yes, the ancient Aztec chainsaw. I mean, I don't want to be a dick, I have no idea where we are in South America, and like, I don't know what the fuck design this is supposed to be, so I'm just fucking guessing. But it kinda looks insensitive, but that's just me feeling like everything is insensitive nowadays. And I just, like, it's that, or it's, it's getting cannoned by something that looks quite fucking creepy. Or is getting slapped by something that looks like a giant black penis, so it's just like with a skull on the end, so it's just like this whole area can just go away now. These guys are annoying because like some of the other demons we thought you can behead them and they don't give a shit. I just took a cannonball to the face. Hate these characters design. Like, like they're fine. Don't get me wrong. And like, you fight them a lot, so it's like, okay, I guess. But you basically have to use the obliteration techniques on them because if you don't, they're just going to keep getting up again and again and again and again because you can sever their limbs pretty easily. Let's go jungling. Jungle, jungle. jungle. I'm saying about the panning and detailing that is just really like, I don't like the way their skin looks. It looks very steamy. Cut off their head and they keep on going. I feel like it's supposed to be a zombie. Ah. Fuck. I fucked up. I didn't need to jump in. No, let me out, let me out, let me out. Sharks. Pink sharks. <laughs> so this is one of like two or three spaces. I'm now using the flail. This is one of two places where you will still fight fishy things in Sigma and you're not supposed to, from my understanding, do anything other than spam arrows. Because it's like, you can fight them underwater, but trust me, they have a huge move set underwater and you have two moves. It's kind of bullshit. It's like, why even bother keeping the enemy in the game? This is the best way to fight them. A mushroom because I never use a mushroom and for some reason your end score is based on how much info you have left rather than how many items you finish with or anything or how many items you used maybe that is calculated in, but I just get master ninja no matter what so oh no not a devil door So we've got spiky green bionicle bugs. And weird, I don't even know what the fuck they are. 
doesn't really feel like they match very well, but like, to be honest. Well, then saying that, in the Volf area when you're fighting the werewolves, you're fighting some weird spiky magic demon, which also has a sort of Castlevania feel. <laughs> this is just random. Never die. Oh my god, from off screen. Ah! Cannon asshole. Stop him. Dead. So, right now. Oh, that was cool. I flip kicked off. Oh yeah! Yeah! That looked pretty cool. I did some cool styling and profiling. Frying and bite. <laughs> uh, so right now I'm drinking... My beer of the day is called Love Spell by Goose Island and it is a dragon fruit based IPA. I'm not sure if I like it as much as I thought I would like it. I thought it would be more fruity. It's kind of got like a tang that I don't really dig. Oh, boring swimming section. Oh, do we really have to look at his like t highly toned ass the whole time? Seriously, he's a ninja, like, but do I have to look? <laughs> Why is this the majority of the screen during swimming sections? I'm sure someone's into it. Please go up, please. Better put looking at Ryu's ass. It's like the meme with Snake. The clap of my ass cheeks. <laughs> Keeps alerting guards. Wing. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, dead ninjas! <laughs> Never seen those before. Huh. Murder. <laughs> Sorry, is this supposed to mean something to me? I'm sleeping, hang on. There you go. I hate it when you start a recording session and then someone like... Someone who you've been waiting for a phone call from or like an important text from finally gets back in touch with you after you call it. Nah, they're not going to get back in touch with me today because it's like late and they're lazy and they're known for not getting back in touch with people for like 12 hours plus and then they start being like, hey, and trying to call you and you're like, no, fuck you, I'm going to start turning my phone off past MDM. It's just a thing you have to do as a teacher because otherwise your students are like, hey, so yeah, about the like thing that's in tomorrow and you're like, bitch, it's 3am, I'm watching a horror movie, <laughs> I don't care. And it's like, you've got to sometimes not care as a teacher, and it's like, you know, especially as a uni teacher, if a student is like, man, I can't finish this assignment today because I'm stupid, then, you know, I feel like as a uni teacher, it's my job to go, hey man, it's fine, <laughs> because I don't want to be here either, <laughs> like, let's face it, we're only doing this because we're getting paid, and I, like... You know, in, I literally took this job. I can make at least 10,000 renminbi a month more than I'm earning right now if I was to take a job at a high school because foreign teachers are impossible to get right now in China. And I was like, I could do that, or I could study for my PGCE part-time and still get nearly 20,000 a month at this job and do about like 
12 hours of teaching a week. And I'm fucking lazy, man, so I was just like, yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Like, <laughs> like, you know, if I want more money, I can always go chew or some shit. So, yeah, I keep thinking this area you don't fight an enemy, but you do. Uh, a boss. But there's only one boss. You know, some areas you're fighting a sub boss than a boss. This one. Ha 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 ha. I'm evil, you can tell, because I have no sun tan. Hey, she has a bone dragon. Right in the bone dragon. We're fighting this guy. Ooh. It's literally just a fucking dragon. Oh yeah, and I know we were fighting worms all the way up here. There is no worm boss. Forget about the worm boss. We will now fight Dragon Boss. It may seem a bit random, but I'm pretty sure it was in the base game. Remember, I distinctly remember that it may be the random effect. He's like, ow, fuck man, will you calm down? So beating my ass. I'm wrecking this guy, holy shit. You have no chance, sir. You've got no chance. Dead. How does it feel? Oh wait, he's not dead. To be a bitch. <laughs> this is embarrassing for you. you like you're, you're not even as hard as the dragon to monster hunter. I've had too much experience. You cannot fight me. Ow! <laughs> I'm sure those fire phoenixes were the most effective thing I could use against this fire dragon. I'll just keep walking into the flames. Jump in the fire, yeah! <laughs> oh no! Jeez, you're just power geysering everywhere, right? Ah! Are you dead? Lol. You're a very sleepy dragon. He's like, oh my face! No! Pretty generic dragon design, but it, it does the job as a boss, but like, one of the easiest bosses in the game for me, apparently. Just one that like no problem. Although I still spam keeping items. Pretty short, pretty short chapter there. I'll let you guess the rank. <laughs>